Normal process water treatment is going to use a series of chemicals in different combinations to try and balance the various elements of the water, the, the calcium buildup, the, the scale buildup, uh, biocontamination issues, and the corrosion issues. Um, it's a very difficult challenge, and so typically they're going to run low cycles. What low cycles mean is that they're going to only use the water a few times, usually under three cycles, and, and throw out the remaining water. So that's very difficult and very water consumptive. Dynamic Water Technologies is using a much more efficient and elegant process in balancing water. We're doing this using electrochemistry. So what we're doing is twofold. One is generation of biocide. We're generating chlorine and hypochlorous acid from the chlorides native in the water, so we don't have to add any toxic chemicals. What we're also doing is creating a pH gradient. So at the wall of our cathode, we're creating a pH that is conducive for the scale to come out of solution, which means we can balance the water very efficiently, which allows us to run much higher cycles and translates to direct water savings on the operational side. So you get improved performance, energy savings, water savings, and elimination of hazardous chemicals. In the Southwest right now, we're really facing some interesting challenges. If you look at the NASA results and a lot of the university studies, we've entered into a period that they're calling a mega drought, or basically a drought that happens once every 1,200 years. The water shortage, we've already known that water is a very finite element, and it's a very, a very precious resource. Um, unfortunately, we don't treat it in many of these applications like we, act, we care about it. Um, what our goal is at Dynamic Water Technologies is to treat the water as that precious resource, conserve it and recycle it as many times as realistically possible so that we're being a better steward of that resource. And if you look at the global demands from the World Health Organization and the United Nations, they've already predicted that within the next 10 years, 40% of the world will not have access to fresh water. And so we need to take this seriously. We need to be that good, good steward of the resource uh, and the water that we have in our backyard and really treat it as a finite resource. There's a wide range of clients that can benefit from this, small to large users. We typically like to target the large commercial and industrial complexes, universities, hospitals, data centers, uh, convention centers, people who are going to use much, much larger volumes of water because we can actually apply the technology and save millions and millions of gallons at each facility. And the great benefit of our technology, it's not only doing a better job than traditional chemical treatment process, it does it at a cost savings. You know, what we find ourselves looking at in, is a return on investment analysis for our customers. Base. And in most cases, our technology is somewhere between a one to four year ROI. In many cases, we've actually been under a one year ROI if you take into account all the other benefits of our technology. We're never going to be satisfied. We're always going to be looking at various improvements in this general process uh, so that we can make it better, faster, and, and more cost effective. They have been nominated for the Innovation of the Year Award for the LA City Hall Complex. We installed at that facility and actually had the Department of Energy do a validation study in 2018 and 2019, and they found our technology very effective. And in fact, they've documented 20% net water savings for the facility. Uh, that's been in operation since the beginning of 2018. LA measured us against everything in their portfolio. And in their findings, they, they've reported to us that our net technology was better and more effective than anything else they've ever tried. Dynamic Water Technology's goal is to help our companies achieve a series of benefits and those benefits including saving water, eliminating chemicals, saving money, and overall improving their net operations for their facilities and we do that as an integral team. We work with their people and with our staff to give them net better solution and better operations.